Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are back up on Lake Muskoka. We've just launched out of Gravenhurst here. And uh, I mean, love it. Get in, get out really quick. Nice and easy ramp there. So I uh, haven't been up here yet this year. So I figured let's get up here. Uh, we're into the fall now. Uh, almost October right now. Uh, it's been a while, things have been busy. So, but I uh, wanted to get back out. Uh, like I said, we're running out of days, so this one looks like a beautiful day, nice and glassy out here right now. So uh, we're going to go out and explore uh, Lake Muskoka, Lake Rosso, Lake Joseph, just see what we can get up to. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So come along with me and let's get out here and uh, just rip it up and enjoy this fall day out here on uh, the water. All right, let's get going. And just as you come out, just as a way to help you find where you're going when you're coming back into Gravener's, there's this tiny little lighthouse here, or guiding light. I don't think it's an official lighthouse. But you know we love our lighthouses on this channel, so this is one. Well, again, station, I don't know. We'll see. But it's a good way to let you know when you're coming back from the open water, this is the channel you gotta go into. Oh, there is a light in it. It's not just decorative. So, good to know. All right, guys, we're gonna rip out and go that way and just enjoy the day. Looking pretty darn nice. We're just splitting some of the islands here, kind of right up and around this area right here. But man, some beautiful cottages up here. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's beautiful, but the only problem is like, I kind of think it's like, everyone's gonna pass through here, so it would be really busy. So, as long as you don't mind being busy with boats, if you love looking at boats, I mean, whew, and like that's your view. <laughs> Like look at the wind, like that is stunning. That's how you have it set up. Windows, decks, beautiful. All right guys, we're gonna continue. Oh, there goes the speedboat. We're gonna go that way and get out there. So let's keep going.
guys, let me just tell you, it's like glass. Look at this. This is fantastic. This is why I use uh, an app called uh, Ventusky or Ventusky, uh, V-E-N-T-U-S-K-Y. I know everyone talks about windy and all these things like that, but man, windy had it being windy up here like 20K today. Ventusky had it at 6K. I would go with 6K. So like I said, check out the app uh, Ventusky. I'll put the actual spelling of it in case I'm screwing it up. But man, what a fantastic day no one on the water because I think everyone thought it was gonna be windy today but I'm telling you that app has not failed me yet disclaimer it may fail you and it may fail me in the future but for now I'm riding on glass by myself not a boat out here it's fantastic So this is as far on Lake Muskoka as you can get. We've come into Bala here. So I'm just gonna tie up at the dock here, maybe get the drone up for a quick second, just so you can get an idea of Bala. But like that float plane's about to land there. So let's uh, pull up to the dock, get out for a second, and have a quick look around, okay? Here we go. All right, guys. Tied up here at uh, Bala Bay Dock. And there should be, the falls are over here. Pretty good current going through. And then this is the railway. Founding of Bala in 1868. Been here for a while. You wanna read it? Pause right here. Uh, we read, but I think we're gonna go down and check out. Well, I guess they're no longer falls. But the dam. 
Well, again, I bet in springtime this thing is just absolutely pumping. Interesting, it's like they've cemented something together there, and then there's some lag bolts right there. And then they're getting power from that. Another bolt right there. And then this continues on. So there's the other dock. There's no lock here. Yes, yeah, power generation right there. I'm pretty sure in the spring you wouldn't be able to stand where I'm standing, so impressive. But I love how clear the water is here. All right, guys, let's head back to the sea You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw the drone up really quick just so you get like an idea of what the area actually looks like. So let's head back and do that, okay? So I'll just stop here to quickly read this. And our <laughs> so this is the Moon River. Of, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Because I've always wanted to go up the Moon River as far as I could. So now I know it starts here. So I'll have to look into that uh, and figure out what that is. But that might be uh, a canoe adventure. Hint, I might be looking at doing some canoeing next season. So. You know, get to places I definitely can't get to with the sea dew. So, future endeavors, we shall see. So, anyways, let's get back to the sea dew, throw the drone up, and just have a quick look at Bala and all the fun views that we can get. If I can get across the street, it was so busy when I came. out and towards Port Carling is our next port of call shall we say so just getting the Garmin all set up we're just gonna be leaving now and uh, head out and then kind of make our way to like I said Port Carling so uh, still got beautiful uh, no wind it's now you know, 11 30 ish so uh, yeah time to get going cool to see all right guys let's head out on the water
right, guys. Well, we've made it back out to the main Muskoka Lake. So we went in through to the Bala side. Now what we've done is gotten back out. So that's towards Bala. And this is towards Port Carling. And then back that way is back towards Gravenhurst. Uh, so this is kind of like the middle ground of this lake. So we're going to head up that way. I mean, there's a huge house right there. Holy moly. And make our way to Port Carling. So we're going north now. Um, so yeah, let's keep making this adventure go. I mean, again, look at this. It's almost noon and I've still got glass and no one on the water. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love fall riding. So when everything lines up, whew, there's nothing better. So, all right, let's keep going. Hi guys, so we're coming into Port Carling here. Uh, there's a Turtle Jacks over there. Great place for people to stop and have some lunch. And then there's Dukes and then into the main town there. And then there's two separate locks. There's like, there's a lock that's controlled by like a lock master. And then there's a, what I've gone through once before is like a manual lock where you actually control it. So I'm gonna see if we can get into that one and try that out and I can show it to you guys. So. But yeah, coming into Port Carling. Absolutely nice little town here. I mean, so as you can see, we're starting to get fall colors. I love it. So, okay, let's come up and uh, check out and see what we can do here. Nice little town in here. So this is the main lock. And then there's another, which is like a manual, which is on this side. So we're going to try that. Because I don't know if this one's open this late into the season so let's go that way so there's a sign here small lock open 24 7 self-serve large locks friday saturday sunday 8 till noon so we're going to try the small lock all right we're heading that way 